Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. I don't know, actually. I'm going to need, like, an auger wagon, but I'm just... Now I'm kind of wondering whether I should have an auger wagon. Let's lift that one up like that, and I'll put that one out like that. So again, I'm going to do twice round. So if I go into this one like that, put that going, and then I bring you over. So the 10,000 litres is not a huge amount, not really. It's enough to be going on with it. Oh, wait, 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 stop. I need to just change that over so that we're leaving a straw swath behind because we want straw off of all of this. And you can go whizzing off up the road, the road, up the field, right there. Ideal. We've got the red track here. We've got the yellow one out over the other way. I'm going to buy an extra tractor. I think we'll go and get a new one. So we want large tractors in here. We want to go with the next Valtra, which is going to be you. We are leaving it black. And this time the rim color is going to be the red one. I don't want Rub, Lemkin, New Holland, or Lemkin. I think we'll go with the slightly lighter blue. I actually prefer that. We do want a GPS on it. Wheel setup, we'll go with wide tires and weights, and the engine setup, we want that to be the biggest one, which is the 400 horsepower one, and there, we'll leave it at that. So it's 335,000, I'm not selling one of the other tractors, I do need to pick up a front weight for this one, which is that Agco weight right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one we've got three of, so I'm going to go to you, and that's a Lemkin weight, as a Lemkin blue weight as well there we go so i can now go to this one there we go so there's our new tractor we got a blue one this time and i'm also going to change our wagon our auger wagon that we're using so at the moment we're using didn't really want to wait for the combines to stop because they stop they don't stop properly but we don't really have a lot of choice so at the moment we're using that one which is 19,000 and I'd like to do that a little bit better now we could just go straight with the truck hooking under the um things and that's what we're gonna do with the big combines we figured that would probably be easier although I still might go with the hall master there because I can have the hall master by Stevie and he's got the additional so we can go with a 100,000 litre capacity on it, which is pretty useful. That's about right. That's what we would want. The Reboot Ninja there is a nice one. We've got the Seed Runner. We've got these standard kind of ones over here. Uh, yeah, we've got the, the Avalanche. We've got that one. We've got this Hall Mouse, which is 70,000 normally. I don't really want 70,000 litre capacity. I don't want small there at 19. 30? I think we'll go with the 30,000. We'll, we'll try this one. All right, we'll do that one right there. We've got wide tyres. We'll go with the wide tyres as well. So we'll buy that one. There's a brand new one right there. It's blue as well. We'll go with our machine that we've got. Let's back out of here. And also we're going to go to the garage and... Once again, I'm not actually going to worry about lugging it back to the shop purely because I can't be bothered um, for an extra couple of thousand. So that one right there, I'm going to sell it straight out of the shed. So that one is done. There's our brand new tractor. The combines are both stopped. So if I go and I'll unload the two combines first and then we will deal with this truck. Actually, I'll tell you what. If I go to, and this is what I'm talking about, like they go so far forward. So I am going to actually move each of them back like that. Just because otherwise it's going to make, it's going to make a terrible mess. So I'm going to lower that one down, lower the back one down as well. See, they're both dropping down now. And then we're going to go to this combine and... Press H and lower that one, uh, drive that one back a little bit, and then go again like that. And then I will go back to this tractor. And I can go and get the auger wagon moving. 
And we've also got to go and start the mowing as well. We're going, we're going to mow all of our fields once again. And this time we will do hay. I think I did say that I wasn't going to bother. But we've left it so long now that I think we should. Uh, I'm thinking hay this time. We did do silage last time. So if we do hay this time, we're still picking it up with the forage wagon. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking hay would probably be the best option this time. And then next time we can look at doing silage again on there if we want to. We've got two mowers on the tractor now, which is going to make life a lot easier when we go whizzing around. And we've got, we're going to have a lot of stuff that we're going to be wanting to pick up. So we've got all of the straw that we're going to be wanting to pick up with the forage wagon. And then we're also then going to be moving on to the hay. We're also going to be getting a baler at some point and we're going to be switching over to doing a lot of bale work now what i was thinking of doing was having the bales and then putting them right up now i did ask this before and a lot of you thought that for this series well some of you said you know just sort of go with what you want um some of you felt that the 16 to 20,000 liter capacity on a bale probably wouldn't be out of place on this series because of the the scale starting to ramp up it does depend in part on what you want me to do with this series because obviously i don't know yet if you uh want me to be focusing on cattle or crops or a mixture of the two so at the moment i'm not 100 percent sure how you want things to pan out so I'm going to let that one go there, and it looks like I've actually just left the other combine on pause to unload. So I need to change that on the settings once we get going again. I have to go over to the other combine and deal with that. I'm going to let him go round at least twice more before I... You know what, I'm going to move away from there like that. That combine can back out, well, back round, and then he's going to go on up across the field again. And then once he's moving, I can be unloading him as we travel along, as we go along, like this. There, yeah. and then I'll whiz over back to the other field, and I'll unload a bit more off of that other combine as well, so we can take a bit out of that one. And... I'll also then I'll be able to change over the setting on it and that'll have both the combines pretty much empty which means that then we can get the mowers underway although the speed that these combines will fill up especially considering we're on wheat this is the heaviest crop that we do um we're gonna struggle to do anything other than combining until the combining is finished so we may not worry too much about the tractor and mowers and stuff like that just while we're doing the wheat harvest instead focus on doing the actual harvest then we can set the mowers going while we're doing the running up and down with the tractor and the forage wagon and we're picking up all of the straw that may end up being a slightly better way of doing this. So we're going to run in here. He's just coming in around the corner just there. And I can pretty much guarantee he's going to stop. So I will whiz down this way like this. We can turn those beacons off. Turn around like that. So he's just completed his second time around the field. Now is he just... He is just going to stop right there. And actually, at the moment, that's not a bad thing. So I'm just going to sit there with it. And this one over this side, he still wants to do another pass along the bottom end of the field. So I'm going to let him go and do that. And this one right here, though, I'm going to just press H here and... It would be better if it was working up and down that way. So I do actually want this one to finish this bit right here. So I'm going to let him go to the end of the row here. Then I will change over the hired help to standard hired help. We'll start working up and down there. So he's done twice around the field and then that'll be it. That dude over there, I need to keep a very close eye on him. See what he's up to. So you come to that point. Oh, there he is. Right. So we've got a little bit of time before he actually finishes. This one here. Bring you out. 
And I will just change over that setting in here. It's going to be wrong next time we come to it anyway. And change that to normal AI and then just go like that. So now we can switch over to, we've got you. We can run in. I've got a full 30,000 litres of wheat right here. And I think, oh no. I just keep an eye on those numbers because he's gone along the bottom end of the field right now. So he gets to that end. I want to go whizzing in here like this. And now I need that truck and trailer to be out over this side. So what we want to do next is we very quickly want to get to you. Then we can turn this one round and we're also going to go and set the hired help to standard hired help like that. Switch you over and away you go. Right, that one's going very nicely in there. Help A has a nearly full grain tank. That didn't take long. And you here, you need to come over this way. So you're going to park in the middle right over here. And then once we finish these fields down here, you'll then drive up the road at the end over there in order to go up to the last two fields. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, it's not you. It's the one over in the field over here. In the meantime, I need to move this one out. We need to unload this, and then I'm going to have to go and unload the combine up there. Shouldn't take very long. Put you in there like that. Right. What's wrong with you? Oh, I see. We can move that around there like that, but... It doesn't like the position it's lined up in. I wonder if that's anything to do with the big wheels. It is. That's exactly what's causing it. I move and the wheels are like disappearing down into the crop. It is just a tiny fraction too low to meet the tip box on this trailer. There at the back is the only spot that I can meet the tip box. We're not keeping this one for very long. The Kins 85-1. We're not keeping this one for very long at all. This this is uh, a very poor. I'm not, I'm not happy with that. It should be able to meet that. But it's the, the bottom of the auger spout right there. And that's looking for the hitbox on the trailer. Um, these trailers aren't higher than any other trailers. There's nothing unusual about them. So this is entirely down to... A slight error, it seems, in setting the hitbox point on the auger on that one. So, I don't like this one. I'm only going to use it for maybe this harvest and then we'll change it over. But, I mean, by the time I get to the next harvest, I could very well be buying one of the big combines. I sell these two, I buy one big combine. That's going to keep us going for a minute or two just to start off with. Now, standard hired help. If I back up now, it will immediately start moving, which means then if I go and run alongside him, he will keep moving and he'll also be unloading into me. Now, I'm actually just going to let it go right down to the end of the field. I'm not going to pull away from it now. I'm just going to sit here and take all the rest of it because the other one has now just reached a full grain. There we go. Help us. He has a full grain tank. So I want to take the rest of this grain here and then we can skedaddle on over to the other field. It probably would be a little bit quicker if we were emptying that other field. Okay, you stay there. You, you, you're blocked by an object for a minute. Uh, it probably, possibly, if we were to put both combines in that field over there, it would be a little bit easier. We are having to jump a little bit between the two. Once we get the bigger combine, that one's got a grain tank capacity of something like 100,000, which means that we're not going to need to worry about it. It'll be one, maybe two um, trips over here to empty it out, and then that'll be it. So there's not going to be anything else that we're going to need to worry about. So what I'll do here is if I just come up this side and take out a bit, 
like this. Run that down to about 80%, like that. And then once he's turned round, I'll just run alongside him up the field going in the other direction and we can empty out all the rest of the grain. Nice and simple. And that'll fill up this grain, this auger wagon, just about to the top. It won't be completely up to the top, but it's it's not going to be too bad. So there is our Kins 851. As I said, I'm not particularly impressed with the fact that the auger wagon... Um, it, that the auger on the wagon doesn't unload properly when the trailer is a little bit high. I know that that is a bit of an issue with other machines as well. We have some combines that also do that. They're not very compatible with the slightly higher trailers, um, which is frustrating. And it seems like a game mechanic that should be fixed. And it's not. I'm hoping, though, in Evers 22, it will be fixed. I'm hoping that we will see a significant improvement on that. We will wait and see. We, we don't quite know yet what exactly is going to happen, but I'm sure great things are heading our way. So let's get everything that we can out of here. We don't seem to be doing too bad. We've got a nice little bit of wheat coming off of this field. Are you standard hired help? Yeah, you are. Okay, I wasn't actually picking that up there for a minute. I'll take everything else off this, so we're on 20,000. We're going to be 23, 24,000 in here. So I'll then run that straight over to the truck and trailer, empty that out, and then we can go and unload the other combine. By the time we do all of that, this one will probably be full again. So, tw yeah, 25,000 we're on now. Time we do that, this one will be full again. We're going to need to take another couple of loads out of this field. I do think that maybe this time round we'd have been better off doing it with both combines in here. It might have been a little bit faster. Certainly would have been less running around. But never mind. We've set, the, we've set things in motion now. We've already got, we're already committed to a course of action right here. Uh, if I go this way, like this. He's on 70% and he's just about to turn round. I'm thinking. I'm going to go on up there and I'm going to take 5,000 litres out of that combine as he comes down across. Which is going to fill up my machine completely. And then I will take that down and I will dump it into the trailer with the truck. I'd also like to see what the wheat prices are doing. Are we selling direct off the field or are we dumping this into storage? moment i don't quite know help a has an almost full grain tank this is the other problem that we have because our combines go so fast and we're talking about wheat here so we've got a nice thick crop of wheat uh we do fill the combines up pretty quickly what with them being standard capacity combines but with increased speed so yeah, we, we do kind of have that against us so there's thirty thousand liters in there i can start Putting out this auger right here, like that. Now, I'm going to tip this into the front trailer, not the back trailer. It says, dumping a bit into the back trailer. Right, you've got to reverse over to... There we go, right. That one little tiny bit right there is all we can do. So the two combines that we've got, how much are they currently worth, even if we don't if we don't drive them anywhere? So we're looking at 350,000 for the two combines. Um, we're looking at another 150,000. So we're looking at 150, 1.5 million is how much we've got. And then the new headers that we're going to be after, we've got a selection of different headers right here. We've got the Ideal Terraflex uh, by Stevie. We've got the Draper 3162S. What is the difference between those two? Do you see any difference between them? I don't see a lot of difference. Between these two... Oh! Oh, yes, I do. It's the speed. That's that's what he's done. That one's a 10k as a standard, and this one here is a 20k. And that's the 125,000. That's the one that I increased the price on for um, the series that if I was going to... Like, I increased the price on some of them just in case I was going to use it. 
in the time lapse series and then decided not to. Uh, so this one right here is 90 grand. This one is a 20k speed on it anyway. There's nothing else that needs to be changed on that, so that can just run at 20k. At the moment, our combines are running at... I can't see what you're running at because you're turning round, and so are you. Well, that's no good. So how fast are you running? I need to go back and go and get... The, you know what? We can just look at the thing is we're driving along. So we'll take this one, and we will fold that one up. 16k. That's the maximum speed because uh, I think you can increase it by nine, is it? So they would have, they, they wouldn't have been very much. But anyway, they run along the field at 16k. So the Stevie ones at the standard Stevie speed of 20k will be fine. We won't want to be increasing the speed on those at all. That's not going to be necessary. Uh, you right here. Let me just drop that down to 80% on the combine back up a little bit there and then off we go again and we just run alongside you at 16k so the other combine is already gonna be full I'm gonna follow this one all the way down to the end of the row now which means that we will get quite a bit in here probably close to 15,000 the other one is just turning around on the end of the row we ain't going to get over there before that one's um, stopping. So that one will be parked up in the field waiting for us. Which is... That's, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Make sure that we get a decent full load off of it when we're, we're done. And you down here... I said 15. We're, we're not 15. We're only going to be 13,000 litres in here. There we go. 13,100. Now we can go to the next one. And he's still not quite full. He will be in a second, and then I think that will be it for that combine over there. There won't be any more that we will need to take off of it. He should get the rest of that field. Oh, no, he won't. No, I can tell you right now, he's not going to be able to get all the rest of that into one tank. I, I had hopes. I had high hopes there for a moment that maybe he'd be able to get all the rest of it in, but looking at this... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He might. He might just fit it in, you know, if we, we, we take off our 20% right here. There we go. And if I spin around quick, like this, bring it back in. He puts the spout back out, and we unload this little bit. So he's going to be empty at the end of the row over here, which means that may very well have just enough room to get the rest of this field into his 10,000 litre tank. Only just. He's going to be cutting it pretty fine, but he might be able to do it. So bring you, I've got still 3,000 to go in here. That's going to leave me with 5,000, 4,000 litres of space in here. 5,000, something like that. And done. Four and a half thousand litres of space left. So I could go and take a little bit off of that other combine. He's got 3,700 litres on board at the moment. I can see from our little glance mod. Right, well this one really has just about finished. I can come in alongside you here and just top up my trailer. And then I can go and dump that out into the truck over there on the side of the field. We will get the entire harvest, I should think, into one trailer. We're not going to need to worry about having a second trailer here at all. It's not going to make anything. It's not going to help anything anywhere. Uh, that would make 30,000 litres right there. Let's go and tip this one out, shall we? And then we've got three fields left. We've got the little field just here, which is a quick, simple, easy one to do. And then we've got the two up the hill to go and do as well, which won't take very long. So I just want to put you into there like that. So that's going to put that up to... This is the third time we've done this. So it's going to be 90,000 litres we got in there. Um, you doing your turn around in here. I'm starting to actually sort of keep up with these a bit. So he's 25% in there. It's going to put him to 50%, 70% on there. He should just about... I think he'll finish this field. Only just. 
but it will fit all of it in and you are empty so i've got 30 percent in each of those tractors which is uh each of those combines which is making me want to just make a little bit of a start on this job over here so what we want to do is we want to just bring you forward a bit and then lower down that front weight like that and now we can go and get the back mower on flip round front mower and then we can make a start on our mowering over here I'm gonna take a quick look at our feed machine over here and just get an idea of what we're gonna want. So we decide whether or not, we can decide now, whether or not we're gonna be going for silage this time round or if we're going to be doing hay this time round. So I just wanna put that one there and I wanna put that one there like that. And then we can take a mosey on over this way and we have a look. So we got 112,000 for dry grass for the hay, 275,000 for straw. We've got no silage and no total mixed ration. So everything is in for the cows now. We've got no silage left. So we've got 900,000 litres of total mixed ration in there for the cows, which seems a bit too much for 110 cows. So it seems like we might be overfilling this one. That's what it appears to be. So I'm not sure about that, but looking at this, it does actually seem like silage would be the better option. Rather than um, doing hay again, and then we can go back and we can do hay afterwards. So I'm going to uh, start that one. Start that one. Shall I leave it on the front one? And then control V to lower both of them down like that. And then just a pass along here like this. And what I'm hoping is that it will actually just be able to do its own turning around the other end of the field. So I will come here and lower that in. There and lower that one in. And then I'm just going to press H and I'm going to leave it go. I'm not even going to bother watching it because I want to see what's going on over here. So this combine is just about done. Uh, this combine over here is actually finished. I don't know why he's reversing it across the field. He's slightly insane. Um, so this one here is going to do that small field. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to bring the combine over here and I'm going to empty into the auger wagon here a second. It takes a minute just to do so what I'll do, while that's happening I'm then going to go to this combine and I'm going to bring this one back to our main field over there and then I'm going to empty this one out as well then the other one will be empty I can start that going around the small field we'll do twice round and then we can go to the bigger fields. Uh, take the other combine up to the bit. Well, this one here, this one will be going up to the bigger field up top. And that will get all of the fields all finished. So I just need you to not encounter any cars coming in the other direction and then everything will be to do. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.